Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wookie here. And we're here for another good old grinding talk. Dokkan needs grinding and I could sure use for some talking. So let's get into it. Uh, I'm just going to be grinding his potential system. You need Vegeta family. That's not Vegeta family. There's Vegeta family. There we go. Just get the LR and then this team doesn't matter. I just tried to get whoever. Uh, I didn't have a very good lead for Vegeta's family. It's not really something I ended up getting at all at some point. Oh man. Alright, so as we get to start get started on this, I just want to say, isn't it great that Dokkan's finally adding an SSR version of launch? It's maybe the most hype I've ever been for a unit since Kid Goku, so it's been a while. Um I'm glad that they finally ran out of the units. I would say ran out of units, but they still have some units to do, such as actually releasing a legit TUR Krillin that is not a free-to-play Krillin. If we can get a, a non-free-to-play Krillin that is TUR, even LR, that would be fantastic. Like, even a um, LR 18 and Krillin would be pretty cool, I think. They just have never done it for some reason. It's weird. It's weird to me. Uh, but coming with launch is also coming with girl form Oceanus, which I never got that far in GT, but you would think that the actual dragon form would be stronger and not the girl form, but whatever. I actually thought that uh, she would be here when uh, a long time ago. I don't know what the hell, why the hell so many of the shadow dragons are ours. Like, and again, as someone who is not the greatest, uh, GT fan in the world, even to me, it never made sense why so many of them were ours. Maybe they're not super strong or something? Who knows? But that's never stopped. Like, again, Launch is getting an SSR, so it's not like that's ever stopped them before in the past, so I don't know why it's suddenly stopping them now. It's weird. Dokkan's weird. Uh, it's also great because you 100% know that the only reason that they made them so insanely good is that the 300 million download uh, banner is going to be something extremely good. So, in order for people to pull and spend money before that comes in, you gotta give them some some pretty tasty things to like potentially buy that. And I'll say female warriors, not female warriors because that's legends. Uh, Peachy Peachy Gals is uh, is an extremely good like category that only a niche amount of people care about. I would say like. I know I care about it a whole bunch, and I've never been able to gauge how much people actually care about it, because they always seem to... If more people cared about it, we would have an actual Jokon Fest leader for, for Pitchy Pitchy Gals, but we don't. I don't know. And then the other one they're buffing is basically um, Incredible Adventure, because, you know, Chi-Chi and Launch can both be used on that team. And I'm just glad that Launch wasn't, like, put on a World Tournament banner. I would have been so angry if she was. Because, you know, I I really don't like... The World Tournament has so many units I want, specifically from Dragon Ball, original OG Dragon Ball, that I'm just never going to get. Because either my luck's not good enough, or I'm just so... The last thing I can think of in the world that is fun is the World Tournament. The World Tournament is, I think, the most boring piece of shit that the that Dokkan has ever released. It's not the worst thing Dokkan has ever released, because the worst thing they ever released was original Battlefield back in the day. Original Plants vs. Zombies Dokkan. That was pretty bad, I'd say, personally. But, you know. I don't know. I'm trying to think about who would be 300 million. I don't... I think the popular going idea is that it's going to be... I don't want you, Trunks. I know you're used to hearing that from Vegeta, but hear from you now. I don't want you. Is that if it's a duel to a confest which you're presuming it's a Duel Dokkan festival. Um, it's going to be Gohan, a transforming Gohan and a transforming Cell. Like, one that goes from, I guess... It can't be first form Cell. So it'd have to be... It can't be second form Cell either. I think there... No, it would have to start with maybe like a Larva Cell. Because right now, here's the problem with transforming units, is that whatever the base form you get them at... It means that you can't use, so if like, we get a cell, and his he's perfect cell, then we have to hope that his name is different from like, um, 
the actual perfect cell that is good that goes with everyone like the most recently released uh red one or something not recently released but the lr one you know what i mean um you have to do something to the name so that other people so it can be used with like other stuff like i really don't like that i know why they kept it away it's because they don't want you to run a team of like all super saiyan gokus so you have to actually think and choose like which super saiyan goku would i actually want for this and it's like i don't know man i think it worked out pretty good and back in the day but i think it's time to lift that ban you know uh especially with like i feel like they're doing their best trying to like for example the the ribrian the ribrian de chateau or whatever um her her new unit that's finally getting a dokkan immediately turns into the big ribrian so it's like well wouldn't it be nice that technically speaking since you're transforming into a different to a different unit right away that maybe you weren't the same unit that I could actually use a regular Ribrian de Chateau instead. I don't know. It's. I'm gonna guess it's complicated for Dokkan to not do it. Uh, so. They'll figure it out. So I saw Gohan and uh, Cell as a potential one for 300 million. I also saw Heroes, Super Saiyan 3, Go th Super Saiyan 3 units, which I don't think. I've had more of an adverse I thought than adding more Super Saiyan 3 units because I think it's unfortunate that um, Super, the Super Saiyan 3 team is not as strong as it once, it once is but also an entire team built on specifically Super Saiyan 3 sounds like the most lamest thing in the world and it's also because I'm not a big fan of the way Super Saiyan 3 basically makes everyone look the exact same, the exact damn same. The only difference is Broly. And you can't tell because it's Broly's big ass bulk prevents the hair from overpowering it. But almost every other unit from from behind looks exactly the same, um, unless there's like a difference in body mass, like Gotenks or Broly, like I said. So I think it's kind of a waste. I think it's, you know, I think it's safe to just say that uh, the Super Saiyan three team is dead. <laughs> Maybe just keep it that way. In my eyes, anyway. That's how I see it. I really could not give a shit for anything Super Saiyan 3 related. So if they were... Also, again, this main idea, I think, was postulated by Goresh on Twitter. Which is what I saw. Which was Super Saiyan 3 Vegito and Super Saiyan 3 Go Gogeta. And I think... I just can't... I just can't give a shit about Gogeta and Vegito for another Dokkan festival. That sounds like the most like played out thing in the entire world. It's like I don't I don't get it. I don't understand why every big celebration has to be fucking Gogeta and Vegito. Like almost every other celebration in some way always has to lead up to them. And I've never understood it. I've never been like and I, I like the fusions, I like their fight, but I've never thought of them that's they're so big that like every other anniversary has to be fucking them it just doesn't make any sense to me and it seems like it wastes a lot of opportunities but i guess like if that's the big money you know if that's what people are going to spend their money on that's what they're gonna you know that's what they're gonna make the anniversary and i think it's fine for when you're first releasing the unit like i can't see them doing it now like i'm really in a, i'm really in a place of just like who cares like, who gives a fuck? It's the same... Do you not already have so many Gogetas and so many Vegetas that you just need another one? Only this one has really dumbass hair? So, I don't know. And I'm also gonna say this. I'm gonna say for all forms of Vegeta and Gogeta, I can just not get zero hype on the hype meter. Absolutely zero. I just don't... Don't want it. Don't care for it. Think of something else. But the problem is, is that when they try and think of something else, it also goes back to fucking Vegeta and Goku, which is also something I don't want. So the answer really is, is that give me something I've never seen before. So good luck with that. Make it something. If it wasn't for Kid Goku, I'd say make it Kid Goku and Demon King Piccolo, but it's too late. They already used that. You can't use that again. 
Uh, what else could there be? I don't know, man. And this is also going to be our last run. If you have any ideas about what you'd want for the 300 million celebration, I would love to hear it. Like, chances are we'll get a lot of speculation stuff for to be released when they hopefully, thank God, God willing, Zen gets off a of vacation and we can record again like normal. But I don't know, man. Something cool. I don't know, maybe, why don't you, why don't you go talk to Oda and get them to add, like, some One Piece guys in here or something. Like, something cool. Something that's, like, something that's different. I just want things to be different. Because that's so hard to ask. Especially from Dokkan. And especially with the art direction Dokkan has gone recently. I would love to see it. I'd love to see it. And with that, we're all done grinding out. So let's see how far Vegeta went. I think I only prioritized one special type of orb, so I don't even think he's going to be able to get 100% done. But let's check him out, huh? Alright, let's see. There you are, you giant forehead motherfucker. Okay. Uh, do I even care what you are? I'm never going to use you. Yep, I was right. go and I'm out of shit god I hate grinding for this it's so tedious and so unfun it's the last thing in the world I'd ever want to do with my actual free time whatever well if you enjoyed uh, this grind and talk leave a like I'm getting closer and closer I'm just getting my missions what did I get yeah baby I, I did not need the two here I'm saving up. Gonna need it. Leave a like if you liked the video. If you got some. Ah! I ain't gonna buy shit. Not supporting Dokkan. Um, see you guys in the next video, whatever that ends up being. And have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye.